we're in the land of Doritos, chili bins, and jandals. Uh, we're actually over here doing a bit of a secret squirrel project, and while we're here, we're gonna do a bit of a tour of New Zealand. We're gonna check out some workshops, we're gonna check out the local car scene, we're gonna check out some racetracks, some multiple rotor engines, some speedway engines, we've got heaps to do. We've got Nick with us, he's our local on the ground, he's gonna tour us around in our absolutely tremendously bland brand new Commodore. Not a Commodore. We, as soon as we figure out how to open the boot. Yeah, that was hard. We'll be, we'll be right. <laughs> uh, but first, let's check out what's going on here. Uh, Matt's invited us into his workshop, Glen Eden Auto Electrical. He is a bit of a rotor man, and um, rotors are a bit hard to find in Australia. Yeah, they they're around, but they're usually hidden or not working, or rare. both. So, so um, let's check out a few of the cars. How cool is this thing? Pretty cool, eh? KP60 Starlet. Not we, many of these in Australia, that's for sure. Yeah, we, they're they common over here, eh? They never sold them in Australia. I don't know if they're that common here, but more common than Australia. Matt says that's a 12A peripheral port, so it would be extremely cranky. Matt is a Haltech dealer, so everything's getting all the Haltech goodness. Um, Elite 750 on this one, and on that lovely RX3 coupe over there, uh, an Elite. 1,000, I believe. And these things, coupes are super rare, aren't they? Super expensive. Look at that glorious throttle body setup. 13B... Gen V throttles, 13B... Bridge port, you say? No, bridge port. Bridge port, my bad. So also obnoxious and loud, which is pretty much the way rotor guys like it. I don't know if you figured out, but I don't know anything about rotaries either, so Alan's got a bit of knowledge. He's done a bit of work on rotaries. He's done a bit of rotaries. He used to be really into rotaries back in the day and then we realised that we could never afford to own or upkeep one. <laughs> so we left it at that. So this is obviously going to have a uh, like a remote water pump set up. Some really nice fab work on all this gear. All the Haltech goodness. And they love the Simmons, everything. Simmons on... It's because it's an RX3. It has to have Simmons on it. It's like a rule. C10, bit of goodie. It is a bit of goodie. Bit of 350 Chev love for our American fans. I'm sure they like that. Crate 350. It's had a lot of um, custom fab work done by a local guy. Um, tubs and all that stuff. The yeah, chassis paint. and everything's all extensively modified. Airbags and stuff in the back. It's getting a rewire of the body harness, which I'm not a fan of doing myself. Next time we need to do that, I might give Matt a call and get him to fly over and do it for us. Ship it over. What about this? And this um, shiny bit of gear you see on it's the really, ground. This is what I was well, talking that's about. that's shiny. This is what I like. Do you think that would fit in my suitcase or not? Might be over the limit. It's a HD. HGT sequential six speed connected to a turbo bridge port that actually will run again but currently is not. So many rotors. Bit of a workshop tour so far. Uh, we've got a busy day planned and we've got some cool stuff coming up. Where are we, where are we off to now, Well, um, I think we're going to look at a Corvette. Drift car. Where are we going, Nick? We are off to East Tamaki to check out a Corvette drift car with a sequential transaxle transmission. One of those HGT things. One of those HGT things. Nice. Almost as good as a Opal Commodore thing. This thing. Whatever this thing is. How do you get in the back of them? This thing's rubbish. No wonder they don't sell any. Just arrived at JWB Precision Engineering. Um, a lot of CNC machines in here, a big giant shed full of them, it's pretty cool. CNCs are awesome. They make uh, precision one-off engineering stuff for the oil and gas industry, that sort of thing. All cool stuff. Not much automotive stuff here, but I think if we go around the corner we might find something. Are we allowed to film there, do you know? Um, we might have to ask Richard. Nick, can but... we... He's saying no? No. We'll have to find out. 
I'm going to ask Richard. Just give us a second. Okay, so here with Blair. How are you, mate? Yeah, I'm good, mate. This is a 2014, is that right? Yeah. 2014 C7. Um, Corvette. It's a drift car in the works. And it's got a pretty cool sequential gearbox, which is why we weren't allowed to, we weren't too sure if we can film it or not. But that's... Um, we'll have a look when we go under. That's what I'm excited about. Engine-wise, it's got a dart block. Yeah, it's got a dart LS instead of the factory LT. We're allowed to show all this, oh, is yeah. that right? Yeah. So it is actually an yep. LS swap. Yep. 427, seven litres, that should be almost enough. Almost. Um, and Brodick's heads. Yep, so Brodick's heads with the six bolt head pattern and 13 to 1 compression on air for I reckon that this is going to have enough power. I think it's going to be pretty cool and probably sound pretty good. Let's go under and have a look at more of the cool stuff underneath here. Blair, these arms, tell us about it, mate. It's you can't get stuff off the shelf for this, obviously, so. No, so we had to design a new arm, so it's got a bit more clearance in it for the wheel to come around further. Yep. And it's also a bit further to push the wheel out from the chassis. Yep, yep. And more lock in it. Uh, cool, and dry sump also. These things are factory dry sump, yeah? Yeah, they're factory dry sump. Or semi dry sump, yeah. I don't know, really the setup on them. But the factory, the LT motor sump is really thick. Yep. So when we put the LS in it, we had to put a lot thinner mm -hmm. uh, sump panel. So this had an LT in it when you built the car? Yeah, yep. so it had a 6.2 litre LT. Yeah, yeah. The cool thing is the business at the back, which I know Al's been sussing out. So come suss this out. And Blair, you can tell us more about this. I've been talking about it over the last kind of half an hour once we've had a little quick little workshop tour. So, sequential gearbox so this is in the, the transaxle in the back. This is the six speed HGT box, and then we've made an adapter to actually fit it into a factory C7 Corvette. So, it runs exactly how it would the factory gearbox. Very cool. The torque tube thing is something different. These things are a fairly impressive bit of engineering as it is. Then you go putting billet transmissions in them. <laughs> <laughs> That's really cool. I like that. It's all caged up and everything we can see. Yep. Um, you were mentioning before that the yeah, ca so the chassis is aluminium, so yeah. to it's got a seven thousand grade LE chassis, and we've also joined a chrome molly cage to it so we actually had to bond the cage plates to the chassis and then bolt them in to put a cage into it. Mm. Right. All stuff that no one would ever think they'd have to deal with yeah. until they bought a Corvette as yeah. a drift car. Yeah. And why Corvette? Why C7? It was the advantages of the alley chassis really. It's yeah. a lot lighter and a lot stiffer. Yeah. And to light them as a and car. It's also something different of something course. Different. Yeah, being different is cool. So um, you're the third generation of the uh, yeah, engineering third company generation here. generation machinist in my family. So I'm sure you've had carry some. Carry on the business. Got plenty of um, cluey people to teach you. Grew up in a CNC yeah, machine. That sounds like a, a bit of a dream <laughs> situation for those of us like me who look at that stuff and go, wow, well, I wish I could do that. Yeah. But I know who to call now. Yeah, hell yeah. <laughs> Thanks for showing us around your way, Blair. It's been, right. it's been awesome. Car's awesome, mate. Can't wait to see it done. So that's us done here. I don't know what Nick's got planned for us, but I know it's time for a lemon squash, I think. I think it is. Yeah. And then we've got a meet tonight. We get to hang out with everyone. Some Kiwi fans. Got any lemon squash? Maybe. Yeah? Sweet. Sure Sweet awesome. Hell yeah. We're just pulling up to the car park, um, and we've pulled in behind a mint Ford Galaxy, maybe, Galaxy yeah. maybe a tank fair lane, I don't know, it's cool though. And it has Boss 460 on the back. I can see car, I can see keeps the cars over there. BBF action. There's the Maccas, Maccas Green Lane. Big block Fords, you like big block Fords? I've never had anything to do with big block Fords. But what about the Windsor out of the Fox body? That's not a big block, bro. Yeah it is, isn't it? It's a small block, you fool. Is this car park big enough, Nick? No. Nah. No? That's what I was hoping. See, look, there's all these people standing around. <laughs> wait, till they, wait till they see how glorious our entry's gonna be in a, the worst fight. Can you put this thing into neutral and limit bash it? Yeah, I, can, I think you can neutral drop it, actually. So it'd be fine.
How good's this crown just here? <laughs> is, it, is that motivation or what? That's what I'm here. <laughs> <laughs> So we had a bit of fun at the meet last night, and thanks to everyone who came out, uh, we had a blast. Mm. Good to meet some fans. Big, good to see some cars. So big many turnouts. Yeah, Thirty-two GDRs. Lots of GDRs. Galore. Lots of all sorts of stuff. Everything. Such a wide you variety of it. cars. Wide variety of people, which was cool. Um, so we had some rest last night, and we're down here at Dynamic Automotive to see Chi and Azar, and they've got some pretty mean cars. We've just been more awesome rotary stuff. We've been chin wagging for the last probably half an hour. Uh, we're on a bit of a tight schedule today so um azar's gone to get his quad rotor rx3 so he'll probably rock up mid while we're checking out these you'll, you'll know about it you'll hear cool it, r100s sure. um that's not an r100 this r100 that's an r100 and that's an rx2 yeah he, this guy knows his cars i don't i'm just in awe about how mint this thing is this is r100 drag car currently fastest rotary Come in new zealand 90 originally from australia apparently very, very cool. I think I still think it's crazy how it gets driven from the street. Once it's cert, it's, everything's okay. It's, um... Got some Aussie gear on there, Hypertune. It's powered by a Haltech 2500, wasn't it? Yeah, just being changed over to a 2500. It's got one of Richard's HGT sequential transmissions in it. Um, so I reckon that would be a fairly wild ride smashing through a sequential with a 750 horsepower. What did he say? Is that a 9... 9... yeah. But it hasn't been out yet with the 2500, I don't think. That was with the previous ECU. Maybe not even with the sequential, I'm not sure. No. Anyway, it's Maybe pretty it's fast. And there's, um, Nick's just tripped over a rotor sitting on the ground, because <laughs> that's what happens around here. Um, As I said, we've been chatting with Chi and Azar before about the cars and um, absolute legends. Just been and just 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 hear about the work that he's done. And they've been here for like 22 years or something. I think it's think G, it's been. G's been working on Rotary since about 1989. I think he said no, more, earlier than that, mid 80s. He so. was just telling us how all the new Mazda mechanics don't know anything about rotaries these days. Which is not be, surprising. You got to be old school. Yeah. And the uh, what did you say? It was an RX2. Um, this is an absolute gem owned by one of Chi's mates that they've restored. Really, it's actually second owner. It didn't need much restoration; just needed mechanical work. Um, Can we go up on the hoist too to show? You? Come, so, come. Let's look, have a look at the engine come bay. Come look at the engine bay. This is just epic. Would you look at it? So it's a twin rotor, 12A that's been converted to single. Uh, it's twin dizzy 12A, I should say, converted to single dizzy. It's got injection. Perfection throttle body with fuel injection, multi coils. You'll see the big ass starter motor sitting on top of the engine. That's that's um, uh, twin dizzy old school. They used to have a giant starter on them. Chi was telling me that was because they had huge apex seals, and even the early ones had twin side seals. So those the engine had mass drag, and they needed huge starter motor and big batteries to actually crank the engine over fast enough to get it to fire. So um, he's retained all that for. Um, authenticity, but upgraded it with uh, fuel injection. Um, it's also a bridge port now. It's got a beautiful twin 
I'm going to go up and show you guys. Inch and three quarter stainless awesome. exhaust on it. It's, yeah, it's um, all the clamps and everything and the fittings have all been, um, what would you call that, zinc plated. It just looks like it was just made in the, at Mazda at Hiroshima. The, the cool thing is to see a car that's done to this calibre because not many people go to this, the effort of doing yeah. this kind of stuff. And G's even gone uh, no holes cut, no holes drilled policy, so he's made special brackets to mount the more modern coils and that sort of thing, so he didn't have to drill any holes in the car that weren't already there. So this can be converted back to the original carburetor twin dizzy um, if, if required. Yeah. The original engine is still operational and just sitting um, wrapped up at home. So How's that radiator? Yeah, that radiator though. There's just something special about that fan shroud still being there. And the crank driven uh, viscous fan with not many blades on it. Isn't it funny how there's just like rotaries just chilling on the ground too? Rotor housings. Let's have a look underneath. We'll, we'll find out how to work the hoist and get it in the air. I reckon I can figure it out. Yeah. We don't look particularly intelligent right now, do we? So we're here. Okay. Oh, there we go. It okay. was turned off. Chi was telling us this has got a factory LSD. Maybe not the tightest one in the world, but it's got one, which is a, a rarity. It was, I think okay for, was it 1970? It was a 1972 Series 2 thing or something like that. Like uh, he's obviously got all the, the inside knowledge on the rotaries, so. For those lucky enough to have met Chi, um, like ourselves, is just crazy. The, the knowledge that he's just sh shared in the in first half an half hour, an hour yeah. is crazy. It's awesome. Beautiful stainless exhaust all the way back. Even stuff like they removed the gearbox and stripped it down to blast it to get it looking so clean. Vapor blasted. It's just because it doesn't um, it doesn't dry out the and make it corrode. I think we need one of those. A vapour blast. I think we need a rotary in our life. Yeah. I don't know if I can afford it. No, we can't. Who's got the budget? Surely one of our mates has Mick, got some budget. You, you want a rotary? Yeah, man. Yeah? Love one. Actually, what happened to that um, Presto? Was, is that still going out? No, yeah, yeah, there is Presto, yeah. Is that? Yeah, yeah, he's Come on, keen. Presto, let's do it. That's it, rotary's rare. Rotaries are rare, bro. Rotaries are rare, bro. Yeah, yeah, that was a crap Kiwi accent. I was. I'm not very good at accents. Rotaries are rare, bro. Yeah, that's better. They are very rare. That is stuck full NZ. Actually, Auck Auckland trucks. people sound like Aussies, to be honest. They do. With a little bit of a twang. Um, maybe it's. Uh, Nick's maybe, shaking his head. Maybe oh, are we insulting you? Maybe it's South Island that, <laughs> that um, has the rolling R's. This thing, yeah. I'm stoked to see this thing in person. This runs, isn't it? Yeah? Yeah. Yeah. We'll have to get Chi to fire it up. We'll get it back down at the hoist. Make some braps. That, that, that. Can we start it up? <laughs> oh, man. How awesome is that? I love it. That is so awesome. Sounds perfect, mate. Yeah, so right, good. Yeah. It's not, not like you, no. That's it, just the right amount of sound for it. Look at this smile on your face, Al. <laughs> Look at the smile on my face. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Silky smooth, bro. I feel like a little kid hearing a CR80 for the first time. I feel like a kid on my BMX with a with a card in my in my, in my, <laughs> in my face. <laughs> but you, you guys never built that. Rolling before. I think I'll lock. I make all that up for him. 
So T's just telling us that he's just rebuilt the engine, uh, done everything here, all the wiring, everything's been done here. Really cool. Holy man. Wow. Mech 5, 520 horse at the wheel. And I, wow. They ran Holy. the 10, 1080, 10, 10, 90 on the, the drag. Welcome back, bro. <laughs> Thanks, bro. <laughs> wow, this thing's special, man. This thing's sweet. You may have noticed the amazing sounds coming out of the back of this uh, little RX3. That's because it's got twice as many rotors as it's supposed to have. <laughs> How's the intake? Wow. It? It's a mock-up of um, pretty much what we need to do with the with carbon fiber. That sound and there's is nothing. Something. I've never heard anything <laughs> like it. Eh? It's an amazing sound. So this is a, also your street car, or what's yeah, this? this, yeah? this is, yeah, this is a reliable street car. Okay, <laughs> okay. Then got a master, master bongo difty. Yeah. Bongo, bongo different. Yeah, bongo, bongo, bongo. Bongo. <laughs> and also got a HGT. No, no, it's no, a no, no, just got a trim at fast speed. Ah, okay, radio. Right, yeah. So it's a TKO. TKO, yeah. yeah. With the lever gears. Yeah. With the dock. So that box used to be in the R100 before. Ah, okay then. Until uh, AGT came on board and switch them over. Switch them over, put them to the street car, and use the good one into the onto the race car. This is street car things. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like we're in the states again almost. <laughs> Should take this to drag week. Oh yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh man, that'd be awesome. That would blow everyone's minds if you did. win some kind of award for ha having a rotary at drag week. Yeah, no one's done that before, is it? I don't Not think that so. I've no. seen. This is like comfy as, man. Yeah, so, all, all, all our cars got to be comfy. Nah, yeah. <laughs> Race pack, you need to get the new Haltech Yeah, the new Haltech Dash. Yeah, the yeah. 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 So yeah, if anyone knows anyone, uh, that's for sale. <laughs> <laughs> I think there's going to be a lot of IQ no, no, trees no. in the market. No, you, you, you can run. Once they release them, well, they would be already released. Not to release this video, actually. New Haltech Dash, get amongst it. Eight cylinders. So this is cool. And this has got a Heltec in it also? No, Microtech. Microtech ECU? Yeah. Yep. Yep. Mm. Old school. Old school. Yeah. This has been a really cool morning. I've, there's some stuff here that I've never seen or heard. The four rotor sound is just amazing. Massive thanks to Chi and Azar for having us. Um, and thanks to Richard for organising it. It's yeah. been really Richard. awesome. Thanks guys. Thanks. We're in a bit of a tight schedule. Awesome Cheers, to guys. meet you. I'd love to spend a bit more time talking yeah, to these yeah, guys. So okay. it's like a wealth of knowledge here, man. It's great. Yeah. It's yeah. Like the rotary version of Alan almost, yeah, I'd say. Maybe. Yeah. maybe. <laughs> maybe he's more knowledgeable than he you. probably is. <laughs> so we're on a tight schedule today. We've got a few more, I think there's a few more rotaries to see today, isn't there? Maybe. We come to the, the land of Doritos, we get to see more. Maybe one, Nick saying? Okay then. But yeah, thanks for having us, guys. It was really yeah, cool. And thanks guys. for bringing this down, man. Yeah, no worries. It's awesome. Really good to see. You guys want to take it for a ride? Okay, cool. No, no thanks. Can we, <laughs> can we start it up again and listen to yeah, it? Yeah, I think we should start it up and give it a bit of a no, rest. Sounds amazing. Yeah, that is so sick. <laughs> that is epic. Why isn't there more of these? <laughs> when you drive around, people go, Yeah, all the time. <laughs>